Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dumbass Podcast. I am Winter. I am Zach Goldpick. And and I am Glitch Master Face. Sorry, and, I entered in a little early there. And today, we're going to be talking about the future. The concept of the future, and what might the future be. With the current events going on right now. And just the future yeah. in general. You never know what's going to really happen. Because there's many, many, like... We were talking about this a little bit before we started here. But there are many, like... And, like, different, like, media, like, movies and TV shows and everything. Like, there's many depictions of the future. Yeah, Who knows which one them, would even be even close? There's no way for us to know. So far, the most common uh, iteration of the future is how everything is all cybernetic. Everything's flying, wireless. Yeah. There's robots everywhere. There's neon colors. Yeah. And just everything is just completely robotic and metallic. Yeah. Which might be the case. It also just might go a completely different way. Like, in your guys' opinion, like, uh, we can each say it, but like, uh, Nate, what, what do you think would be the, like, the perfect type of future? For you, personally. If I mean... <laughs> Honestly, I'm just I'm just gonna, gonna take a guess here that this is probably Zach's way of thinking. I just want to live in a future where everybody is actually thinks and smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, oh, fucking look, hell. Just... Look, look, man. I, I'm sorry, but like, I I just ha I have to say it because it's literally the only way I think. Um, the first step to my perfect future is uh, putting everyone world who has no sense of like self-preservation or common sense into a Hunger Games arena. Yes. And <laughs> yes, I agree with this. And that's the first step to my perfect future is just letting everyone who has no common sense like sense of self-preservation just into an arena where they duke it out and only one of them's gonna survive yeah wow i agree with this fact like get rid of the weak <laughs> it's really fucked up when you think about it but it's war. it would work like like there's some people like us who are like like, we'll be stupid for, like, videos, but, like, generally we do have common sense and no, like... We hey, know what our limits are, and sometimes things are, are just not acceptable. <laughs> you're being... But, like, there's types of stupidity that people need to actually just be uh, murdered for. Yes. Such as, <laughs> such as racism. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> In like a perf, I'd like to imagine in like the perfect type of future, racism, like sexism, like homophobia, like shit like that is just like out of like the like equation. Like, like at least like the the most thing I can ask for is that in the future, like I hope that just everyone can actually treat each other like fucking human beings and not like utter shit. You know. Just every, just put everyone with the these fucking egos into like a Hunger Games arena. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you you, uh, you you think so highly of yourselves. So, well, you know what? Fight for it. Yeah. Yeah. True. So w another thing we've seen in a lot of media is like futuristic tech. Like there's these like there's okay. hoverboards. Okay. There's like. Just Okay, just uh, okay. Hoverboards, flying cars, horrible ideas. Agreed. People are gonna kill themselves. We already have enough car accidents with cars that don't fly. How bad do you think it's gonna be if ones can fly? Like, it's gonna be so much worse. Not everything <laughs> so needs wings, man. Not everything needs to be off the ground. Some dumbass is gonna see. Some dumbass is gonna see like the their closest McDonald's and just in an act of like probably drunken stupidity, they're gonna nose, ram right into nose it. Nosedive into the bitch. Yeah, I believe it. 
Well, I can say one thing. Hoverboards are going to be ten times better than the hoverboards we have today. They don't even hover. It's literally just... It's literally a Segway without a stick. Pretty much, with yeah. With handles. How are you supposed to move on those things? It's incredibly hard. Like, my friend has one, and he said it's, like, one of the worst purchases he's it's, ever made. It's easier to move on a skateboard. Yeah. And I don't even... And I don't even know how to do a fucking ollie. Yeah. It's just, like, there's so many, like... Another thing, like, you have to, like, think about is just, like... The why? Like, why do we want shit that can fly? Like, is there any real purpose, like, for it? Like, other than to just say, oh, hey, we have this that can fly. Like, like logically, There's, what would even be the purpose for that? There, one, uh, one actual use we could get out of uh, advanced technology, which uh, kind of ties into the uh, last... Uh, episode actually Mm -hmm. would be to like would be to like travel the space make new uh like make new planetary colonies and contact aliens that's what i was saying like because like going also back to that like like aliens like if they exist like and we know they do like like the they're obviously like far more advanced than us like imagine the type of like tech and like weapons and shit that they have yeah, they possibly even know us. Like, they probably know. Like, since there's apparently you first. Since there's apparently like, uh, um, since there's apparently already like f- at least four species of them on Earth, mm-hmm. um, you know they're probably like well more equipped than we are. Yeah, definitely. Uh, over the course of the week, I've actually um, sent uh, Logan a picture of the tall whites we talked about last week. Yeah. And the, the, they were f- fucking creepy. Yeah, they My light had a fucking stroke there for a second. Well, yeah, it's just like... Also, like, it re- like the type of future we want kind of also just... Obviously, kind of depends on the way we're taking the world right now. Because, like, if if people keep... Like, I say we, it's not obviously everyone, but, like, we as, like, the Earth, like, keep fucking this planet up. There isn't going to be a future. You know what I'm saying? Like, we might end up just screwing this world over so much to the point where it's just, like, we humans might just end up dying off because of people's stupidity. <sighs> If that's, yeah, the, like, if that's uh, the case, I'm gonna miss you, Logan. That was an, what the uh, fuck? That was so fucking ominous. The fuck? You guys obviously can't see, but my fucking light just went out. I just saw that. Uh, I well, that. I guess I have to do it with a flashlight here. Okay. <sighs> what was that fucking timing? Okay. That Can was I fucking see? weird. Let me tell you what happened. Um, let's recap. He said it. The world might, the, the the human species might die due to stupidity, and I said, if that's the case, then I'm gonna miss you, Logan. And as soon as I finished saying that, the lights went out in his house. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna turn Calm this down. off. I'm gonna turn the actual light off, so hopefully it doesn't fucking explode. <laughs> Good okay, God. this is a laughing matter. Keep everything serious. Ugh. <laughs> This. Good this God! Podcast, man. Yeah, we don't need to be oh, serious God. here. That just was but legitimately like, horrifying timing. But like, in all honesty, I believe Earth is already like, God damn it, you sons of bitches, get off of me! Yeah, for real. <laughs> and I understand if that's how it's feeling. Like, like we've just screwed this planet over so much. Like, I'm not no environmentalist or anything, but I feel like there becomes a point when you can understand that we've just gone way too far. You know, you know, you know how, like, obviously everyone knows it's like, I'm holding you at gunpoint. I feel like Earth is just, I feel like Earth is just ready, like, holding, like, her fingers are over the cork of Yellowstone. It's like, if you don't get it together, I'll do it. Yeah. Most likely. (laughs) 
It's just like, because like we really gotta like work together as a society. Because like I feel like people have just forgotten how to be a decent human being. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt. Like people made jokes like when Corona first started. Like oh, this is the apocalypse and shit. Like if we're not careful, it might happen. So. <laughs> Well, I mean, Honestly, <laughs> if all, the world is going to end someday, it, de- know, it definitely will. We're not. We. I'm not sure. Well, everyone's not sure when it's going to end or how it's going to end. Yeah. But we. But we know for a fact it's going to end. Yeah. Now, don't. Now, don't treat everything like it's. Like it's the end of the world, but just, yeah. but just keep calm and aware. Yeah. Be aware of of your surroundings. Yeah. The light it's just like, comes back on when you say that or like, something. It's like the butterfly <laughs> effect or some shit like that. Yeah. Literally, one, one mistake can cause can cause the entire world to ex- implode. Yeah. You really never know. It's really scary to think about, because. It's just like there be there becomes like a point where people just like don't just like they're not understanding like hey certain things you do will have really negative effects in the future. It's just like I'm not trying to be that like stereotypical parent or supposed to be like you need to like make sure you know like what you're doing in the future. But I'm like in a way it's it's true like you need to make sure you're not gonna like screw yourself over like by some stupid, like, choice you make now that'll affect you way later down the road. Because it's not just, like, the future in general. Like, it's, like, the future for ourselves. Like, the future for a channel. Like, the future, like, just in general. Like, we gotta make sure everything isn't, like, we don't fuck something up that will have really negative effects down the road. Honestly, um... Honestly, I... I think that... I think the main part where humans went wrong is the fact that we need, like, a sense of currency to do anything. If humans were smart, we'd just give each other stuff to try and, like, improve ourselves. True. And have to worry about, like, hey, give me money to, like, <laughs> give me money so you can, like, get your food. It's like, if humans were smart, we'd just, like, get food, distribute it, yeah. and, like, we would... We wouldn't, like, shake each other out for, like, a stupid sense of currency, which, in all honesty, isn't even that valuable. True. Like, and I know like, exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. I've like a, seen this method used a lot. Like, I've, I've learned this lesson. Don't hand people money. If they're asking for food, get them, get them the food. Yeah. Because if somebody asks you for money, that is got to be, that is, that is just a... A road to deceit, because yeah. you don't know. They could be. They could be. They could be asking money. For, they could actually. That money could have been used for drugs, alcohol, or hell, even a fucking prostitute, if you yeah. want. Yeah, you and never really they, know. And people, then, can be, people can be very deceitful. Yeah. And then when you find out, you're gonna have to beat them. Yeah. I fucking told you not to smoke meth. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, man? I really cared about you. <laughs> Just fucking giving them like a sympathy speech as you're beating them into the fucking ground. <laughs> no, I told like, you, it, I cared. Sounds like a Deadpool like a, moment right there. <laughs> you know what, man? I cared about you. That's the best you can give them. Yeah. You th- you think I want to be beating your ass right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's just like, uh, we gotta make sure we don't mess up this planet any more than we already have, even though we know there's it's gonna a, happen. There's also, <laughs> there's also a future to technology that, uh, unfortunately, will probably be true. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of had a similar dis- discussion last time. Yeah. Um. I know exactly where this is going. This is an unfortunate truth, but it's also not wrong. Yeah. Um, but hu- humans are eventually going to devolve to the point where they just start, like, having legitimate relationships with machines instead of other people. 
Oh, yeah. In a way, it's kind of sad, because, like, we're going to lose touch with actual people at some point. Like, take, like, Detroit Become Human, for example. Like, I'm not talking about, like, the robots rebelling, but that is a total possibility. But what I mean is just, like, we're going to get, like, so, like, used to, like, machines, like, that we're not going to, like, know how to interact with human beings. You know? It's sad. Yeah. We sound like boomers, but you know what? Fuck it. We're being real with you. <laughs> Back in my day, I we had to walk places. <laughs> we, had, we had... We didn't have all these fancy flying we, machines. We had to walk several miles for clean water. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's what my parents say. Back in my day, we had common sense. Oh, what's common sense, Grandpa? Oh, if you have to ask, then there's no point in trying to explain it. Oh, say, common sense is not jumping into a cactus using only your boxes. <laughs> Sam. Oh, shit. <laughs> Back in my day, these things only cost one cent. Back in my day, cryptocurrency was just a baby. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Cryptocurrency, like, like anyway, all these, like, coins I, I, and shit is another thing that's going to become, like, heavily a thing, like, in the upcoming future, I think. Like I don't I don't know anything about like these like Bitcoin and shit. I don't know how any of that works. Nor do I care do too you, much. <laughs> wasn't the whole wasn't the whole thing about Bitcoin that everyone was like, "Hey, you should do this cuz it'll go up." But then it ended up being shit. Pretty pretty sure that's exactly how it went. To be honest, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it went. Like uh, cuz I I once saw I I once saw like a um I saw like a software gore post for those of you listening who are unaware software gore is basically just like technology glitches. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw a software uh, gore post where this guy's phone, um, that, um, a failed, uh, message from like five years ago. Oh yeah. It's like your message failed to send and it like said the time card was like five years ago. And it's like, I saw, um, I saw Captain Sparkles react to it, and he's like, he's like, yeah. he's like, please tell me the message was, was you saying, buy Bitcoin, it'll turn into blah 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 coin later. <laughs> what is the fucking ironicness of that? Like, holy shit. Um, but yeah, Honestly. like, I've, I've seen, like, I've legitimately seen, like, a story, like, like, a simulated story of what it would be like for an AI to, like, become sentient and, like, start feeling for, like, a human. And honestly, it's yeah. kind of creepy. Yeah, I mean, it's like the uncanny valiness of it. It's just, like, it's not quite a person, even if it looks like it. You know what no, I mean? No, see, because, like, here's the thing, like, it's one thing if humans just, like, make machines that are, like, designed to be love interests, you know, you know people are gonna fucking do it, but, like, yeah. but, like, it would, be, like, I don't know, the idea is even creepier if it's the AI that becomes sentient and starts, like, feeling for people. Yeah. Like... Something doesn't vote at, too well about that. <laughs> at, point like at that point like how what what you have to like weigh your options yeah <laughs> it's like well i can't like i can't just kill it now because it's sentient yeah i don't want to break its heart because i don't want it to break my ankles <laughs> yeah it's yeah, you don't want to get scooter ankled by those things. You, you won't just get scooter ankled. Your ankle will fucking explode. Yeah. We don't know what kind of weapons these things are going to have. It's like, it's like, well, I'm running out of options. I can't... I can't... 
I don't want to. I don't want to hurt its feelings because apparently it has those now. I can't just kill it because it's sentient now. <laughs> There's only so many things you can do that you won't feel shitty for doing. <laughs> Another, like, futuristic thing I think is worth mentioning, though, is, like, the idea of, like, like how far, like, weapons are gonna go, like, machine-like-wise, you know what I mean? Like... Oh, God. Like, what? Like, we have guns now, like, I'm talking, like, more or less, like, what if lasers become more and more of a type of, like, an actual, like, laser gun? Like the really, like in sci fi films. Yeah, something like that. People are gonna, not just like are, invisible rays. Yeah. People are gonna make uh, people are gonna make the fucking uh, gunship from a Super Smash Brothers brawl that just shoots a giant laser out in the distance, and wherever it lands, basically a nuke goes off. Oof, that's what Monk drives. That's Monk's. That's Monk's cruise ship. Yeah, yeah. I hate everything about that. That's terrifying. Uh, uh, in uh, in this week's edition of going semi off topic for the sake of some punnies, yeah. uh, the the future of Puppet Squad. Oh yeah. I mean that's not off topic. I, the video is just called. This topic is just the future. So. Well, I said it going semi off topic yeah, for the true, sake true. of the fun. Like, a, like for example, how last week I basically just went on another stupid <laughs> FNAF rant because that seems to happen all the time. Uh, true, true. That is, that, yeah. yeah. True. But, uh, but like the the future of Puppet <laughs> Squad. Uh, it's definitely going places. We have a lot of, like, stuff we've talked about behind the scenes of, like, future episodes, like, future, like, ways of how this is gonna go. Honestly, when I finally get... Honestly, when I am finally a part of the Puppet Squad, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Because it's just so... It's just so bad... But it's so good at the same time. I know. It's that... It's, it, 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 like, it's blurs like, the line. It's like a mix between excitement and heartache. Oh, yeah. That's what it's heart like, attack's from. It's like... It's like I want... It's like I really want to die right now, but for some reason I just can't stop laughing. <laughs> it's... It's like... It's basically you're dying inside. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, we constant. We constantly joke about this puppet empire. Yeah, the joke behind this is that we're gonna just add so many characters, and the show will just go on for so long. It'll no longer be just Puppet Squad. It's fucking Puppet Empire. <laughs> this is fucking. That's fucking terrifying. And it's just like. I gotta learn when to stop buying puppets. <laughs> I just fit. like the people. The people that live in the people that live around uh, the house uh, uh, the puppet squad is at. Mm -hmm. um, first off, there's not many people to begin with, but the people that are around the house need to learn to just move and surrender the the United States needs to officially surrender <laughs> the land to Monk. Yeah. <laughs> Monk for president. Not Mon because Mon we want it, but because we don't want to die. Logan, damn it. What? I was just gonna say that. Oh. <laughs> no Monk for president. Oh, we need to make Monk that fucking merch. Okay. Monk is just able to hold um hold his his turf is small, but he's able to hold it using, like, an array of, like, various, um, of, uh, shit missiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the last and thing, the last shit. thing Monk needs is access to the military's weapons. Yeah, because he'll probably just bomb every single thing on the planet until there's nothing left. Yeah. Except America. <laughs> 
He, he bombs literally everywhere. Where he just puts a protective force field around Puppet Manor and nowhere else. <laughs> he, he turns the Puppet Manor into the White House. <laughs> like, good God. Puppet, puppet Squad's in the White House. It's perfect. Oh, God. One of us needs to become the president so we can just film that video. I'm gonna lose my voice all over again. <laughs> uh, but back to like the topic at hand for the future. What do you think? Like, because we briefly touched upon this. Like, as far as like planets, like, do you think like as time goes on, we might discover even more planets that we didn't know? It seems likely. It definitely seems likely that we're going to see a bunch of planets. Because every, like every single week or so, I'm just guessing at this point, NASA seems to discover more stars, more constellations, more planets, more universes, more galaxies. And soon enough, we're going to find another picture of a black hole. Oh, yeah. Because right, sure. uh, right now, the first picture we have, it's just it just looks like an edited picture of the eye of... Of Sauron from the Lord of the Rings. True. People who don't watch Lord of the Rings won't get that reference. Yeah. Well, well, the the reason it's blurry, um, the reason it's blurry is because you need light to take a picture, and the whole thing about a black hole is that light doesn't. There's no that. light. Yeah. If any, actually, now that I think about it, it looks more like a blur. It looks like somebody tried to take a picture of of a solar eclipse with a flip phone. <laughs> that actually that's actually a better represent a, a more realistic representation why does that, that work though huh why does that work because it's realistic that totally I don't works. know why I'm tr- actually why don't I try to bring realism in a world where we have a talking puppet a talking monkey who who is into shit jokes and masturbation yeah a, a great man a person who claims to be a zombie, um, Zach, by the way, uh, a person who basically has like no explanation whatsoever, and a person is, who isn't even like a real person. Yeah, he's he's just a it's, his body is just a shell of his for, of a random person. Yeah. Spoiler alert! That's me. Yeah. Like, that is so depressing. And, and Spoiler to, and alert, that's world. me. <laughs> that was depressing as fuck. What? This, just like going on a ta- on the tangent and I'm just, Spoiler alert, that's me. <laughs> um, but okay. yeah, like, Zach's, imagine like, um, if we like, get like, the technology, like, me and Zach have talked about this uh, before, like, where we're like, so, like, people that have, like, split personalities, like, they are able to, like, put those people in the separate bodies. Also, going along yeah. with that, what if, theoretically, Monk was his own fucking person? Like, I transfer how I portray him into the puppet, and he's just an actual living creature. Yeah, honestly. Um, that would I'm be the one who... terrifying. <laughs> I'm the I'm yeah. the one who proposed this thought one day. Yeah. Um, reasons why are classified, but yeah. Um, one day I thought of like, I wonder if one day they'll make a machine that is able to like, not only like, basically like, like make like take out like like isolate and like remove alternate personalities from people's brains yeah. and like transfer that consciousness into like an artificial human yeah so it's kind and, of like, like a form of cloning in a way yeah but like Could- instead of like instead of like a clone of you the clone is like you take a piece of your personality that's like completely different from the rest you just like put it in yeah so yeah like um so yeah like uh, theoretically we could um take monk's personality isolate it and like 
put that into a person, which I'm just saying, like, we joke about how that would be, like, a completely awful idea, but I feel like, like, we obviously know that the monk character is just, like, the bit. Yeah. Like, if we made Monk a person, I imagine, like, off-camera, he's actually, like, he would actually be, like, a pretty cool dude if we managed yeah, to, like, chill. do that. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is, for anyone, uh, get, for, when, for anyone asking, this is actually completely different from an alter ego. Yeah. Because, honestly, I actually have an alter ego. Not not counting Faze. Not counting Faze. I'm breaking character, by the way. Um, in real life, I have an alter ego. His name is Doug. Mm -hmm. And he even has his own story. Uh. I'll, t I'll try and be brief about this. Basically, Doug used to work for the Coca-Cola company. And okay. for whatever reason, for whatever the reason, uh, the place that he worked with, it was like in Dakota or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway... They weren't allowed to drink the, their own substance it, while while working. Well, okay. well, good old good old Doug Dougie decided to do something. He decided to become a coke dealer Ooh. by basically by basically making the coke Coca Cola and then basically hiding it in his work shirt and basically selling it to his co co workers for like half the price you would see in stores. We need more Coke. We packed Pepsi. Anyway. Um, anyway, uh, he got caught, he got fired, and then he got thrown in the garbage by some of his co-eds. Oof. You Until a family it. found him, they, and, and, and now he lives in the basement making Coca-Cola from what he can find. Right, and, he actually, and his plan is to basically... Basically, kill the owner of Pepsi. Oh, that's his plan. Okay, maybe that last part wasn't real. He just—he <laughs> just really hates Pepsi. He Alrighty. just really hates Pepsi. Already then. Yeah, it's my alter ego, and I act like a completely different person. Like I just like I don't. Dr I just wear the shirt and act like a completely different person. Yeah. So it's, it's really weird. Y'all know Ben, right? Benjamin Dover, my character. Yes, I hate him so much. <laughs> just like my, just like how I hate every single character from the Puppet Squad, no, mainly, uh, mainly the main character. I don't hate Ben as much though. You hate him because you love him. No, I love him because I hate him. Fair enough. My point is, like, in a way, he's kind of, like, a part of me. Like, maybe not as much as I portray him as, like, the character, but it's just, like, at certain points of how I... Mm, this is my channel. I don't need to be anywhere near subtle. When I smoke yeah. weed, right, I okay. act a lot more like him as a character. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My voice gets a little lower. Um, I, <laughs> I'm basically a different person. So in a way, like, I do not want to, I, well, I know for a fact I don't want to isolate him as his own person, because that's the last thing this fucking world needs. <laughs> then, then please, don't be dope. Wonder, yeah. does Zach have an alternate personality? I don't yeah, think he would. Zach. Honestly, I don't even think Zack's human. I don't either. I honestly I think he's like some sort of undead creature. He just seems to like not give a shit. His, <laughs> he's very thin, pale. And he's almost like a representation of Slenderman's son or something like that. Except he has a face. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm doing something that's a bit weird, but like... Like, if you just, like, look at my eyes, you'll uh -huh. notice that I constant, I constantly have, like, this dark area around them. Yeah, I have noticed that. Cause, like, even, because, like, you know how when you get out of the shower, your skin's, like, a little red? Yeah, yeah. Frankly. Um, the areas around my eyes don't get affected by that. I walk out of the shower, my face is red. But, like, the areas around my eyes are still, like, pale and dark. Weird. It's, it's, 
It basically that it's like that face you get in the morning when when you have a job to do. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure one, I have some kind of uh, weird skin condition, and two, uh, to answer your question, I don't really have alternate personalities. I just have like basically undiagnosed bipolar. Yeah, I would not doubt that. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> so, in some cases, like, we do have that- a little bit. Of- in some cases, like, we do all have bipolar. Well, I'm actually diagnosed with it. Because my personality can just, like, floor the floor it in the car, like, real quick. Yeah, that's called bipolar, <laughs> but... <laughs> well, actually, on the topic of, like, this, like... For, like, the future, what do you think the future of, like, medication is going to be? Because that's something that I don't hear, like, talked about, like... A whole lot, like... Well... I got a feeling it has some... It's going to... I know this is a very unrealistic, like, representation of our Medicare and shit, Mm -hmm. but I feel like it's going to be something close... or Not not exact, but close to, to like, the medic from Team Fortress 2, how he heals his friends. (laughs) It's somewhere close to that. (sighs) Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on a minute. Um, you're like, what's medicine gonna look like? The first thing I think of is like that joke Family Guy did about the future. Uh-huh. Um, it basically, it basically just shows a quagmire in the future. He's like walking out of a woman's house, and he's like, "Well, damn it, I got AIDS again," and then he just takes a pill for it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Oh God, no! Why do like- Why do I? <laughs> Every time I hear him, I see him. I see him every time I hear it. Everywhere I go, I see his face. What is up, everyone? Or no, 509. no. Oh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. That's one like future that I don't want. Like, every time your voice goes like this, it makes me think of that fucking channel. Oh, God. And I still watch it. Uh, I still won't set up one video where you quote unquote roast our channels. Oh, wow, that's such a shit video, and it's such a shit channel. You did. You barely. You're. You're not good with impressions. No, I'm at not. All. I'm a little bit better now, but that's just hiding the point. Like, cause like the few, like I know that's like a weird example to bring up. Like the family guy thing was just like, but what if that becomes a thing? Like. You just get, like, a disease, like, that's, like, right in this day and age. It's just, like, almost uncurable. But then we just... Like cancer. Yeah. Like, cancer, like, like AIDS, or, like, anything like that. Like, they're just actually, like, we end up, like, finding, like, a cure for that. And it's just, like, maybe, like, (laughs) not like a pill that's, like, oh, it's instantly gone. Like, it's just, like, I'm hoping, like, in the future, like, we'll be able to, like, actually, like, get cures to stuff like that. Yeah. Hold up. Stay here, I'm going to the corner drugstore to get some broken leg serum. <laughs> <laughs> because I just recently got scooter ankle by some guy who tried to rip me off. I just got scooter ankle by this some fucking monkey looking dude. I don't even think he was human. He was some monkey that kept going on about, oh, I gotta nuke the earth. For all we... For all we know, there's an alien species that is basically just monk. I, that's one alien species. That would species. be terrifying. That's one it's species all... that I would love to just come nowhere near this planet. <laughs> I would leave the fucking universe. No, they, they just accept us because we're the ones that created monk. It's just, yeah, that, but the thing is, I don't think I can even be around them. I prob- They would probably... Release some sort of radioactive aura from their body, that from their pheromones, and it just slowly makes me rot away because of how much I hate them. Oof! <laughs> Imagine that that's an alien civilization. I don't know how I'd feel about that. I just, I honestly would puke. I just want to puke. <laughs> but um, another would- thing. I was thinking about, like, future-wise, like, 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 we do YouTube, obviously, like, maybe not, like, the future of YouTube, that's not quite what I'm going after here, but, like, 
the future of like, like maybe like filming stuff like you know how we have like CGI now like well holograms is the thing that I kind of wanted to bring up holograms yeah they yeah that's like a you commonly would see those in like in sci-fi as well like Star Trek and Star Wars yeah like there's holograms and stuff like and like they're really really accurate holograms it's like like you don't even know they're a hologram until you like go to like touch them and then they're just like not there like like, it's I, almost I wonder like if we'll ever get, like, those types of holograms. You know? It would be, like, you know, it would be, like, the future of, of videos. Like, of, like, right now we're using Discord, obviously, because Zoom is being a piece of shit with its stupid transactions. Yeah. But, like, what if we... What if we made... We we actually went through with the holograms, and we did like and we did our video chats, and it would f- seem like you're standing right there. That would be you know so what I mean? cool. That would that's it actually would be cool. just really cool. It would be creepy it. at first, but cool once you get used to the fact that it's just a hologram. I feel like we'd be able to get used to it a lot easier because it it would be really beneficial. <laughs> oh, hold on, I have some. Claire. <laughs> I have something here. Okay. What's this? Soup. <laughs> um. First off, it's a milkshake. Um. <laughs> ah, even better. <laughs> second off. Ah, uh, yes, dessert soup. Second off, yes, I'm eating in this podcast. I don't care enough about anyone to not. Yeah. Third, third, I have something that I think would be really good for the future of YouTube. Yeah. What's that? It's like a really good investment because they've already tried experimenting with this. Yeah. So, YouTube, YouTube is <laughs> like... You okay? <laughs> Damn it, EJ, why the fuck? Oh. Holy fuck, that scared me. <laughs> Sorry, my older brother just is just. I did. He was just like standing there in the doorway, and just and he jump scared the hell out of me. Oh. I didn't even see him coming. Uh. Okay. Anyways. Anyway, um, YouTube has been like trying to like experiment how to handle like the dislike button. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Um. This. This. This little. Uh, this little topic here is actually going to get like its own video relatively yeah. soon, but I just want to briefly go over the basics for anyone who's just like, I don't know, listening to this while writing an essay or some bullshit. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, but basically, the whole deal is that like there was at some point where YouTube tried like theoretically, like, what if we removed the dislike button and then like. What people did was they started just commenting dislike on the videos, yeah. so they kind so they kind of just like put it back because this is just even worse. Yeah, yeah. But um, I have figured out the solution to this problem. Okay, what's that? Um, uh, may I propose to YouTube something I like to call the counter dislike button? Okay. What does basically, this like, the dislike button do? So basically, like, everyone knows that there are those people that, like, regardless of what it is, they'll just go around disliking everyone's videos. Like, people people will even dislike charity stuff, which makes absolutely no fucking sense. Yeah. So I propose the counter dislike button. This button, when you hit it, you will automatically dislike the videos of anyone who has hit the dislike button on the video that you hit the button on. So, like for example, Whoa. say say you're watching a say you're watching like a, a charity uh, thing, mm-hmm. and it's like oh uh, like a like about a thousand people hit the dislike button because I don't know they're just dickheads. Um, well, just one click of the counter dislike button will make you automatically dislike any videos any of those people ever made. 
I like this idea. What if some of the people that dislike don't have videos? Um, how about that? That's a that's a that's a good point to bring up, though. Uh, well then they well then they're not relevant enough to matter. Uh, My head looks like a mushroom. <laughs> They just they just receive a notification that says you're trash. <laughs> My head looks like a mushroom. Oh. Is it but, just a random fact that I decided to pull out? Fair enough. But um But yeah, so like you can dislike you can be like a dislike troll all you want, but you know what? Now there's gonna be consequences, bastard. And Here's the th- Here's the best part. When people defaulted to commenting dislike instead of pressing the button, mm-hmm. now with the count with the counter dislike button in play, if someone tries to do that, you can just call them a coward for being too scared to face the consequences of the counter dislike button. Yeah, true. And kind of the main reason he's bringing this up is because I unfortunately have one of those dickheads that only has my notifications on to dislike any video I post. So. Honestly, I really don't care if they're trolls or not. I, if they're trolls or just jerks, I honestly just ignore them. Yeah. I just delete the comment entirely. Yeah. True. Well, oh, that's I one mean, reason. Because apparently, because apparently we have a, because apparently we have someone who just has no life on their hands. Yeah. Uh, was stalking uh this channel. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're somehow like. If you're somehow listening to this, um, get a fucking life, dude. Yeah, for real. Like, uh, we appreciate how you subscribe, rung the bell, and everything. But like, it's really worth it in the end. Like, you but just like, look like an asshole. So, but like, not only that, but just like, yeah, there's people that like. There's people who are like this that are like dislike trolls that dislike stuff, even if it's for like. Genuine good causes. Yeah. That, like, fundraisers for, like, curing cancer. Like, like people dislike d- that. Those guys like a, should have zero dislikes on them. Like, it's... What, what kind of... What, are we, what time are we at, bro? 47 minutes. I hope that's long enough, because soon enough I'm going to have to leave the, po- leave the podcast. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, you can continue on without me, because... No, it, it's it's alright. We we have been going on for a while. If there's nothing else we can talk about, then... Yeah, there's not it. much yeah. else to it, but yeah. Uh, counter, counter dislike button will get its own discussion uh, soon enough, but yeah. I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. What the hell is this? It looks like a fucking pineapple. Oh. <laughs> Anyway. anyway, so did you guys want to go ahead and wrap it up here then? Sure. All right. Well, that has been this week's episode of the Dumbass Podcast. Um, we'll see you guys. Next we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.